Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and today we're gonna uh do a little work today. Put a little work in. Um today we're gonna learn how to characterize a character inside a motion builder. And the reason is is that we can see that this character that we bought in motion builder is there, but motion builder can't see it. It's because ropes motion builder what can't recognize it's uh it's skeleton, it's uh it's rig, it's on. So and how you would know your character's not characterized is simply going up here to where it says character and clicking on it and nothing shows up and you constantly got none up there in the character controls panel. So what you want to do is you basically want to uh, characterize it. So this is another character I downloaded from Mixamo and if you want to get your own character from Mixamo just go to uh, www.mixamo.com and pick up a character there and it's free as long as you sign up for a subscription and that's about it that's how you get your character and so what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to uh, just characterize a character and let's get on with this uh, here we got the character and here's the animation oh Dugan oh, 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 oh Dugan I like that noise yeah Ooh. Enough playing around. So, what I want to do is, uh, Mixamo. When you download a character from Mixamo, Mixamo characters comes with a T pose automatically that comes with the file. All you have to do is come down here to where it says Mixamo.com, right next to the little action story action, and right next to here, it's like one of the first panels you go to right here. Uh, and it's got the name of the animation that it's on right now. It doesn't say Fireball, but it says Mixmo. And Mixmo identifies it as uh, animation. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to click right there. And now you see we have Take 1 and Mixmo. Then we got Take New. Uh, take 002 New is if you're adding a new animation onto this character. And we're not doing that. What we're going to do is go up here to Take. 001 where the T pose is now the reason why you need a T pose on your character um, because motion builder will not recognize uh, will not recognize your character or characterize it unless it's in a decent T pose and if you don't have a T pose where well, you're gonna get all type of errors and stuff so we don't really want to go there with that so just make sure you care sure your characters in the T pose and not only in a T pose, make sure it's facing the Z direction. And how do you know it's facing Z direction? It's because if you have Y going up and X going to the side, that means Z is either pointing backwards or forwards. So all you have to do is just take, click up here on the little pan, little pan around on the little orbit tool, and you can see that if we turn this sideways, you can see the Z, the little purple Z right there. So we know Z is pointing this way. So we'll turn it to the front and lo and behold, the Z is right there. It's a blue purple Z and it's pointing towards us. It's either going forwards or backwards. Luckily for us, it's going forward. So we in, we in the, as we orbit around, we don't have to be in a Z position, you know, but the character does have to be in the Z position. So as long as the character is facing towards the Z position, we can be behind him, we can be on top of him, we can be anywhere in this in this in this uh in this viewport and we can still characterize a character. Okay? So even though you're over here, as and as long as your character is facing the Z axis, you can still characterize your character. Alright? Just to get that confusion out the way before somebody's like, yeah, dude, I don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, next thing you want to do is uh, go up to the tabs of the display, click that, hit X ray, and it will show all the bones in the rig. And you can easily hit the shortcut key for each, easily hitting control A. Oops, with your cursor inside the viewport, push control A. And then push control A again, it'll come. So come back. So we got wax off, wax on, wax off. Well, I mean, this is wax on, this is wax off wax on there we go so now what we got to do now is uh, select a bone inside the rigs and then hit the skeletal button over in the character controls panel so I'm going to uh, click right there 
and I'm clicked on the hips. How do I know I'm clicked on the hips? Well, right down here it says Mixamo Rig Hips. Or you can go to the Navigator tab over here, hit Scene. Mixamo, and uh, right here it says a plus, and it says Mixamo Rig Hips, and it's highlighted. And just to, just to let you all know, all the bones for the rig is right here, right up under the Mixamo, Mixamo Rig Hips. So if you need to come over here and you need to characterize something you can characterize it right from here uh, if you can find the bone click on it and the bone will light up so if I click this because you can see that bone right there lights up so I'm going back to the hips you see the hips are lit back up okay so now I'm gonna go over to the skeleton and click skeleton and it says a valid selection skeleton is required do you want to define one yes define it so now so now we have our character and the character controls panel and we got the little symbol and what you have to do is match up the parts from here to over there so since we know where the hips are already we just double click and as you can see the panel goes black out it'll just black out on itself and the only thing to be lit up is the part of the body you're trying to characterize so we click on that and then we click on the bone and now the character is relit up and the bone is green. That's because you've just matched this little symbol up with the actual bone over there inside the character. And it's the same thing with each one. You just go to the next bone. I always try to do the body first. And uh, right here, like this is your abdomen. So after the abdomen, you're going to have extra bones in there. So this character has sometimes they don't have that one bone right there they'll just go from the abdomen to the chest so just make sure you're careful and look at your skeleton and look down here at your navigator to see how many spine bones that your character may have until you get to the neck see once you get to the neck you know then after the neck it's going to be the head so so you got spine one which we can recharacterize and then we got no no no, no spine no spine is what we already got characterized we have to spine uh characterize spine two spine one i mean spine two the neck and then the head so when i click this tab right here this is spine one it'll it even say it right there as, as you as you hover over it let's push spine one and you would click on right here for spine one then spine two you'll go up here and that'll be spine two so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to we might as well go ahead and do the neck and the neck is this little triangle here hit that little triangle and click right there and then you can hit the neck but sometimes you may have more than one neck bone so you have to go down here and check if you only see just one neck bone now just go ahead and click it and there you go the neck is green highlighted and it's done so I'm gonna click off here and then just go into the head and Go ahead and click the head and now the head is characterized i could have characterized the head up here or i could have did down there i just went down there and did it because yeah why not okay so now we're going to do the limbs now we're going to hit uh left shoulder and if your naming conventions are, are if you're if the rig is named pretty good you probably won't have to do both sides of the rig that means left side or right side no doing the left side and right side at once versus doing the left side later the left side now and doing the right side later and what I mean by this is like when I click right here on the collar and I click right here that means it, it just characterized the right side because both of the names match up and motion builder recognize that all motion builder deals put an R in front of the in front of this limb and named it and so, so that means you don't have to go name because motion builder did it for you so I'm going to this shoulder. And as you can see, uh, the right, the left upper arm, or left arm, what you want to call it, is uh, characterized and went ahead and characterized the uh, right side too. So we want to go to the forearm, and we're going to go to the hand. Now when you click the hand, make sure you click the little palm right there. There because sometimes people are coming here and they click the wrong thing and then they wind up getting mad it didn't work for me why didn't it 
Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is do the fingers. So what we're gonna do the fingers, we're just gonna create this little triangle here, and then we're we're gonna start from this bone from the palm all the way up. Uh, these this bone right here on the thumb really doesn't matter because it's it's not there I count one two three four bones one two three four bones and the bones are labeled one two three and four so what you want to do is you want to start from the bottom one and click over here where you see the first bone coming from the palm and just followed up common sense and this will take this will take a few just give me a second all right so we go to the index finger and we'll be doing it's like from the palm the first bone from the palm is the one and you just follow it on down until you get to the very end now some rigs you won't have to worry about these little extra nodes up here because they're basically empties it's just saying these are just saying where the bone ends uh, where the bone should end at that's basically what it is or where you can add a bone so uh, middle finger now uh, you said you start from the palm and you work your way up and you just click and click away all right so now we're going to start with the ring finger and just work our way up if you can tell as I'm naming these bones, the right side is getting boned, I mean, getting characterized as well. And we're on the pinky right now. And done. All right, so both sides are finished. Both sides of our character are finished. But we still have the little red box here that because we the legs aren't done yet. So what for the legs? For the legs, we shall do this. Alright, so this is our upper leg, shin, foot, and toe base. Okay. So what you want to do is just start up here at this leg, upper leg, right here, the thigh, we will call it. Shin foot which is right here and this right here is the toe base don't click this side because this is the right toe here's the left toe right here all right so everything's done as you can see the the sign up here is green now the reason why you should always have your character in a t-pose and I'm about to show you why is because if you don't have your character to t-pose suppose your character came in and if both of its arms are like that motion builder will see that and be like no you can't characterize this because your arm isn't in a t-pose position or it's not facing the right direction and it indicate here that the you get green here but you would get yellow here and you get the yellow sign saying this is not going to work it's only when it's in that T-pose, as you can see when I had a, when I went back one, that it got the green go-ahead sign. So just remember that. Just remember if you're doing a character in another program or something and you bring the motion builder, make sure he has a T-pose in his character file or FBX file. Because, you know, you can put more than one animation in the FBX file. Or if it's a BBH file, you probably want to put the t-pose at the beginning of the animation and then bring it in here um then after you bring it in here you can characterize it and then you can actually go and delete that t-pose off of it if you want to all right then so this is all done so now what we're going to do is we can go back up to the navigator and then we're going to go down to the character and right here we're going to like push the plus and then you have another character that says plus right up under the one that says character and then what you want to do is just double click it and now you have your character definition and right here you can uh you can uh, just hit characterize and hit biped and now your character is characterized so you will see that it says character up here and it says none down here just because we gotta make a control rig for it and uh we'll get we'll get to control rigs uh next episode but right now your character is finally uh, <clears throat> your character is finally ready to go, and it's ready for animation inside a motion builder. And what, my next episode, we're gonna show you what you can do 
with a characterized character inside a motion builder. So this is One Gun Shun, and I'm signing off. I hope you all have a nice, pleasant rest of the day. 